Alright, so let's move on. In this second video, we'll proceed from this point projector. The projector goes into two uh, pipes here. One is going into the rain particles, which we'll worry about later. But the other one goes inside of the scene, the actual scene, where you see all the FBX. Now, these are the FBX buildings that you see from here. This, this is the FBX file that we brought in from Maya. Uh, if you want to just quickly see what it looks like uh, without texture. Um, this is it, this is it, and then the texture is applied on it through this sketcher because I used uh, the projector, if you go to projector here, I used the texture as the uh, the way of uh, projecting. Um, okay, then there is another FBX file which is, use, which is getting texture using this projector here, which is basically the same, go back to the first frame, same camera as this one, right? Um, it's just projecting the same file, the same texture file, which is here. One is going down here, the other one is going uh, into this projector onto another FBX, which is just one building. So if you look at, uh, and, and you will see which building it is, you know, as soon as I remove this sketcher tool, you see this building is turning white, and that's the building that is taking texture from this node here. The reason why I did that, and, and you see the difference, um, which will give you a clue, between this pipeline here and this pipeline here is this node. And that's the paint node, and that's what I used to paint out uh, part of the spill that was happening on the other building. Let me show you what I mean. Go to the render node again, and this time I'm going to disable this tool and let's go to the last frame and take a look at this building here it's uh, projected the same building here is projected onto the image plane that we have for all the back buildings which is not good you know we need to remove this effect now this is happening at other places also you can see it's happening here and also in this area here so ideally what I would have liked to do is bring in FBX model for each individual building and that way I would have full control over how the texture is projected on which building. But for now I'll just um, use this one example and, uh, and show you how it's done. So uh, let me bring another uh, viewer here to show you paint node. I'll create a new paint node here and I will feed this into this paint node here and I'll remove this for a minute and take this in. Now we want to remove this this building here but which is this building so if I remove this building from this pipeline here it's not going to impact the other pipeline because this node is after you know the New York City and, and that New York City is still projecting the full image on this other node which is projecting on this building so if I erase this building it's not going to be erased from this geometry here that's the point so let's uh, go into the single stroke here and the clone mode and very quickly zoom in reduce the size of the brush a little and pay attention here as I paint out um, this building and replace it with the building in the back. So let's say I want to use this as my target and I'll start painting out here and let's see what happens here. You see that it's already painted out. Now um, you can do different things here if you um, if you really have some data as to what the back of this building looks like you can you know <coughs> create uh, a texture there but for now I'm just going to continue with this building assuming that this is the building that is going to be in the back all the way it's a huge building it's a factory building let's say and as you bring it in you see that you know more and more of that is gone so you get the idea you know what I'm trying to do is isolate this building from the rest of the um, images and that's what I would do with everywhere I see this this spilling happening because of the move of the camera 
All right, so let me disconnect this node here, reconnect this one, and activate that. Right. So you got, so you got that part cleaned up. And what do we have from there? Is okay. So you, you got these two FBX files. Uh, what's taking the uh, the projections? Then I have other files taking other projections. This is the uh, um, the sky replacement, which is an image plane fed by this picture here, which is color corrected. So it's the original picture, then it is resized and then color corrected, and then it is fed onto this uh, geometry, which is a simple plane. Use the bender tool to bend it uh, towards the camera and then fed into the uh, into the scene so you have that then I have ambient light here because you do need some lighting there to uh, light the scene uh, let's see there are some other image planes here this one here is I uh, need to actually remove the uh, catcher tool so so you can see this one is the uh, the buildings in the back that are caught on this uh, vertical image plane then you have the floor here, the ground, which is another image plane. All right, so that's pretty much the scene part, the 3D scene part. Now, from here, I go into the 3D fog. Now, you will not see anything when I bring 3D fog into this viewer because you need to look at it through your camera. So let's uh, let's look at it through your projector. 3D fog is quite powerful. So if I remove, uh, if I move the slider, you will see. You know what I mean. Here is the fog that is building up, and it's, you see how fast it is. You know when you when you move it, it's actually happening in real time. So this fog is generated on the basis of the 3D depth of your scene. So it's very powerful when you have a simple 3D scene like you have here. Okay, so so that's 3D fog. And then you see that rendered here uh, in your final image. And again, you can go back to your 3D fog and make any adjustment that you want to make after it's you know rendered into that node. Right. So I'll stop here for now, and we'll go into the other elements, which are uh, the aircraft, the uh, uh, particle system here for smoke and fire and particle systems for uh, for the rain okay thanks a lot